Hello and welcome to the Webster Bank Arena at Harbor Yard where the Fairfield Stags suffered an 80-72 loss against the Coach Cooley-led Providence Friars. The Stags did it all against a record-setting crowd of 6,375. The night did not start well for the Stags, who fell behind 19-6 after seven minutes of play and could not find a way to stop the three-headed attack of Vincent Council, Bryce Cotton, and Gerard Coleman. Fairfield then responded with a 24-10 run of their own and entered the locker room with a 30-29 lead. The second half was a back-and-forth battle with both the Stags and Friars exchanging blows. Fairfield still had no answer for the Friars' guard play, but Providence could not stop Ryan Olander or Kim Sanders, who put up 17 and 25 points each. With the game tied at 49, Rakim Sanders missed a dunk and Gerard Coleman took the other way, converting on a three-point play, giving the Friars a 52-49 lead. With former Providence great Marshawn Brooks in the building, Bryce Cotton and Vincent Council did their best impressions. Cotton had 24 points for Providence, while Council added 26 points and seven assists. With just over six minutes to play, Vincent Council was fouled from behind the arc and knocked down two of the three foul shots, giving Providence a 13-point lead. Yet the Stags did not quit. After a three-pointer by Rakim Sanders with just over two minutes to play, the Stags only trailed by six. Cotton and Council would not be denied. Providence finished off the game strong and hung on to an 80-72 victory, giving Coach Cooley his first win at the Green Air Harbor Yard against Fairfield. The loss dropped Fairfield to 1-1 on the season, while the win improved Providence to a perfect 2-0. The Stags will now test their luck in the Midwest as they travel to Minnesota to face on the undefeated Minnesota Golden Gophers in Minneapolis. From the Webster Bank Arena at Harbor Yard, for the Ham Channel, I'm John Tessitore.